Catheter ablation plays a very important role in treatment of all types of cardiac arrhythmias. And atrial fibrillation is the most common and most important, at least in my view, heart rhythm condition that we deal with. Now, over the last 20 years, that program has grown. We've done a lot of research. We moved the field forward. And today, it's an extremely large program. We perform nearly 1,000 AFib catheter ablation procedures every year at Johns Hopkins. And that number continues to rise extremely rapidly because, how, because of reflecting how common atrial fibrillation is and how effective catheter ablation has become to treat atrial fibrillation. The Johns Hopkins AFib program is unique because we have had a continuous focus on making AFib ablation better. Now, we began performing catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation almost 25 years ago. And when we started performing this procedure, we started a database, and we would invite patients to be included in the database where we could track their outcomes over time. And we've used that database, which continues today, to improve the procedure, to identify who's the best candidate for the procedure, how can we lower the risk of the procedure, how can we improve the outcomes of the procedure. Now, some of the improvements that have made a big difference is, first, using advanced imaging, using MRI and CT to define the pulmonary veins and the left atrium, so we have a precise understanding of a patient's unique anatomy. That's allowed us to have an extraordinarily low risk of pulmonary vein stenosis. We saw that complication once or twice 25 years ago, but we haven't seen it in 25 years, in the last 20 years, because we know where we are when we're doing the procedure and we know we shouldn't deliver energy in the pulmonary vein. The risk of strokes has dropped dramatically because we perform the procedure on continuous anticoagulation. Instead of stopping the anticoagulant and restarting it, we've learned it's safe and far and, and equally effective to just continue the anticoagulation. We've developed techniques to lower the risk of developing injury to the phrenic nerve, and the list goes on and on. It's striking as I look back when we, when we started this program, complication rates were somewhere between 5 and 10 percent cardiac tamponade in 1 or 2 percent of patients. Today, the complication rate of all types of complications is less than 1 percent. There are many reasons why you should consider referring your AFib patients to Johns Hopkins for their AFib ablation procedure. The first and most important reason is that the outcomes we achieve are excellent. Our safety data is second to none, our efficacy data is second to none, and our patient experience is second to none. When I talk to patients who've had their procedure performed at Johns Hopkins by myself or one of my colleagues, almost uniformly, they comment on how nice and professional the staff are, how available the physicians are. Every procedure I do, I will always give the patient my cell phone, and they'll have that forever. They can call me up at any point because when I do a procedure or any of us do a procedure on a patient, we make a lifetime commitment to that patient to get them through it and to help them in their life's journey. Now, in addition to our superb outcomes, which I think are really unrivaled, we also have access to the latest technology. So if your patient is interested in some of the clinical trials we're doing of electroporation, supercold cryo, or computational model ablation, your patient will have a chance to hear about that trial and see if they're interested. If they want to go with a standard ablation, that's fine. If they want to be in a clinical trial, that's great too. It's, you know, we're, we're committed to, that, to achieving our best outcomes for every patient. Finally, I just want to say that when we started the AFib ablation program at Johns Hopkins nearly 25 years ago, our quest has always been to get to the point where the procedure efficacy is 100 percent and there's no complications. Now, we're not there yet, but we're never giving up, 
and we will make a commitment to your patient to give them the best experience possible and the best outcomes possible.